Good morning to the best family on YouTube. It's currently Sunday. I am still at Bilal's house. Salah is here. Okay. Having what are you having? Explain your breakfast. Um, Nutella with some Can we see it? Can they see it? Uh, wow. Some tea. That looks schmacking. But you know who can't have it? This guy. But I can't have green tea. So I'm all for it. So Bilal is in his room getting ready. So mm -hmm. cut his sandwich in half mm -hmm. and then hide the other half. Mm -hmm. And let's see if he like makes a big deal about having so little food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see if it's an issue. All right, here. All right, so it's in half now. <laughs> so when he comes out, I'll just put <clears throat> the camera here and see if he even mentions that he only has half instead of a whole. Right, but so, oh, you need me half sandwich? I'm not going to eat it. So, who ate the other half of it? The Kaman, I'm not going to eat it. I was asking, who ate the other half of it? Huh? You did? You can't eat. Yeah, I ate it. Was it? Yeah. What did I say? The first thing you mentioned is why well, I don't only have half a sandwich. I'm gonna go call him out now. Salah. Salah. What? The first thing he says, he walks to his place. He's talking about something so different. He stops and he goes, he looks at his dad, he goes like this. You only made me have a sandwich. You didn't even say it about it. I didn't say it like that. <laughs> I had it on video. You said it like that. I'm just confused. It's dude. in the microwave. Okay, man, you're so annoying, dude. Y'all love dude. We have to go, man. Unpacked and ready. ready to go. Who's We're gonna wait another two. This all is all ass, man. You need all this stuff. Why is your under on the floor, Salah? Wait. Where are all your Tubby Z missed you have a sandwich. That's gross. <laughs> there's un there's dirty under on the floor. That was dirty. What did I take a shit in it? He wore it, dude. It's gross. Oh my god, why is that gross? You wear boxers too, don't you? You talk. I don't toss them on the floor. I toss them in a pantry. Oh my god, dude. The floor. Oh, you're such a woman. Dude, that's so gross. You do How's that in your that house? Gross? Yeah, I put my underwear on, my gr on the ground. Where else am I supposed to put it? You put it on like a, like a freaking <laughs> yeah, laundry one thing, in, dude. Yeah, I have one in my bathroom that I move it to. But when I'm changing, I put it on the ground. Hey, can you turn off so I can change my clothes? Wait, but I'm just laughing at the, I can't. Okay, man. <laughs> just because you're not fat for like once doesn't mean everyone else is fatter than me. <laughs> you're so fat, you see. <laughs> I'm just laughing at how I predicted it to the T. I am so scared right now. I'm driving back to Los Angeles from San Diego and I just got a low tire notification. It said stop carefully and check tires on cars with run flat tires. The journey can be continued at speeds of 50 miles per hour. So I called the help button in BMW and the lady told me the same thing, the 50 miles per hour um, for 50 miles. The problem is I still have a two hour drive and I have to go 75 to maintain the flow of traffic um, so I have no idea what to do right now and I'm just I've always had this fear that the tire is gonna pop and like the car is gonna flip so kind of panicking right now so I came to this gas station to fill up the tires um, but I need quarters now and I hate the drive from LA to San Diego so much and vice versa so let's go find some quarters and then let's fill up my tires so your boy doesn't get into an accident hurt anybody on the road while he's driving home we wouldn't want that to happen 30 minutes later i just did it and it said resetting tire pressure so let's find out how i even did this is like i never had the tutorial where they like taught me about my car so all this stuff i'm bad at Oh, it didn't reset yet. Oh, because it said drive and then we'll reset it for you. So I'm going to go drive and then we'll see if I let air come out or if I let air go in because I had no idea what I was doing. I have no idea if I made the situation better or worse. The PSIs of the tires went down. I don't know if that's good or if that's bad. So I'm just trying to get home as fast as possible. I also want to visit Diana today. Um, I'm going to go to the shelter and I want to see how she's doing and how she's healing and recovery because... I think yesterday was, yeah, they said one to two days. She might be up for adoption tomorrow, which a lot of you guys were for in the comments section. So 
Um, I'm excited to go visit her today. Maybe I'll even take Dollar to like let them sniff each other and stuff. We'll see. This dude is crazy when I get home. Oh my God, how am I gonna handle both of you guys? If you're crazy enough and you're the size of a nugget. I was only gone for him for a day. Simi was taking care of him. He scratched me. No, oh, there you go, that's calm, baby. How are you, I missed you. You know it was only a day, Dollar? <laughs> well, I got a surprise for you. We're gonna go see your sister. Is your dick out? Is it? Dollar, is your dick out? Calm down, bruh bruh. Just got home. So glad I'm out of that traffic. So I'm probably just gonna get situated, then we'll head out. I, I came home and I just woke up. It's midnight right now. I literally slept all day. Anyways, um, I think the reason I went to sleep was because I don't even know if I talked about this in the vlog yet. Um, me and Simi got contacted and Diana was given back to its owner, to her owner. And Yeah, I guess I'll talk about it more tomorrow, but I was excited to come home and, you know, I thought I was going to be able to adopt her tomorrow or whatever, but because of whatever happened, happened, I lost that opportunity. I'm just super tired right now. My head hurts. I don't know why I slept for so long. I'll see you all tomorrow, guys. Love you. Rah! <laughs>